with meteorologist Dan Tomasso. And the rain just kept coming today. In droves, mm -hmm. I mean, round after round after round. And I have to say, this is actually similar to a snowstorm. Obviously, it wasn't cold enough for snow locally, but if this would have been snow, this would have been a whopper of a storm, that is for sure. And now the winds are beginning to pick up, so we're starting to transition away from this area of low pressure. We could see the trees blowing here. This is our mountaintop site. I pulled this up because I just want to show you, especially along the river, Visibility is not good right now, so there are pockets of fog, low clouds, temperatures about 53 degrees at the mountain site there over an inch and a half of rain, 1.86 for the day, and that's on top of what we had Friday. Let's take a look at the map here where the heaviest rainfall zone has been today. Northern Adams County through eastern Perry County, northern Dauphin County, and less as you trend farther south and east of Harrisburg. But now eastern Lancaster County is turning into a hot spot as we're seeing showers and thunderstorms coming up from the south. Here's that line. Basically, it followed the Chesapeake Bay. So this energy, this instability continues east of Lancaster City. The other batch of heavy rain, as I mentioned at the top of the half hour, over parts of Eastern Perry, Northern Dolphin County too. A little bit of a break heading over the mountains, but still some leftover showers here as we go into Western Perry and Western Cumberland County. So this zone right here, just west of the river, east of Newport, getting some heavy rain. And then there's a zoomed in look at what is this very stationary line of showers and storms. It's trying to move to the north and northeast, but the track of the low slowing it down. Regardless, we are seeing very cool conditions for this time of the year. Low to mid 50s, those numbers likely not going anywhere. The high today, 57 degrees, that's all. But I want to show you one important number here. About now an inch and a half in the deficit territory. That's it. We went from about five inches just a week ago for a yearly deficit to now under two. Not too bad of progress here. So here's the setup. The coastal low will eventually lift to the north and northeast, but this is the problem maker here in the forecast over the next several days, likely through about Thursday. So what I mean by that is more clouds and some light showers, not the heavy rain that we had here today. So there goes the heavy line of showers and storms that eventually moves off to the east and northeast through this evening. Then later tonight, it's cloudy. We'll see some showers rolling in from west to east. The bottom line is we may get a rumble of thunder tomorrow, but in terms of rainfall totals, maybe a quarter of an inch in some locations. So a much different scenario than what we just went through. Temperatures in the 50s all week, except we start to trend warmer by next weekend. And right now we are still trying to keep parts of the weekend dry. We'll see if those trends hold. Nick, over to you. Dan, Central PA is known for having some 